A jury will soon decide the fate of the man accused in the deadly Dallas hospital shooting. Closing arguments are set to take place today. Nesta Hernandez faces life in prison for killing two Methodist Dallas employees last year. He took the stand for the first time to admit to the shooting, but he says it wasn't intentional. Our Nick Starling has more. This has been a relatively quick trial in the capital murder case against Nestor Hernandez, and now it will be in the hands of the jury who will decide Hernandez's fate. He's accused of shooting and killing 45 year old social worker Jacqueline Pakua and 63 year old nurse Katie Flowers in October of 2022 at Methodist Dallas Medical Center. In court yesterday, we heard directly from Hernandez, who took responsibility for the murders, but says they were not intentional. Telling jurors the gun went off as he fought with his newborn's mother, where his girlfriend had just given birth to their baby in the mother baby unit, and after he accused her of infidelity and giving him a sexually transmitted disease. She hit me, and so, you know, I kind of like, you know, I had the pistol in my hand. I don't think the nurse knew I had the pistol in my hand, and so we got into like a little, a little brawl or whatever, and that's when I, you know, I hit her. I ended up hitting her with the pistol, and that's when the nurse. The nurse, she was like, stop. She got in between us. And uh, the, my shirt, the, the black shirt that I had on, it was already kind of like over me. It was already like, cause she was like putting on the shirt too. And so the gun went off. Hernandez testified that he panicked afterwards and fired blindly into the hallway. Prosecutors, though, pointed out that the testimony contradicts physical evidence. And during cross examination, questioned Hernandez's story that the shootings were unintentional. And you admit that you killed both of them. You missed that, don't you? Not intentionally. You killed both of these women that day, didn't you? I did, but not intentionally, sir. Prosecutors are not seeking the death penalty. If convicted of capital murder, Hernandez faces an automatic sentence of life in prison without the possibility of parole. In Dallas, Nick Starling, CBS News, Texas.